Good morning. Today we are going to look at the graphs of kinetic and elastic potential energy of a frictionless horizontal mass spring system. Flippin' physics. Bobby, please remind me of the positions we have defined and what we know about those positions. Positions 1 and 3 are where the magnitude of the displacement of the mass equals amplitude, and position 2 is where the mass is at rest position. The velocity of the mass at positions 1 and 3 is 0 and has a maximum magnitude at position 2. Its acceleration at position 2 is 0, and at positions 1 and 3, the magnitude of the acceleration has a maximum value. Thank you, Bobby. Now let's look at the kinetic energy of the mass in a frictionless horizontal mass spring system as a function of time. Billy, tell me what you see when you look at the kinetic energy graph. Well, let's see. At positions 1 and 3, the kinetic energy of the mass equals 0. Uh, that is logical because the velocity of the mass is 0 at positions 1 and 3, and kinetic energy equals 1 half mass times velocity squared. So if the velocity is 0, which it is at positions 1 and 3, then the kinetic energy should also be 0. The kinetic energy at position 2 has its maximum value. Again, this is logical because the velocity has its maximum magnitude at position 2. Uh, the graph of kinetic energy is always positive. Uh, this is because velocity is squared in the kinetic energy equation and mass can't be negative, so it does not matter if the velocity of the mass is positive or negative, squaring the velocity will make the kinetic energy positive. Actually, the kinetic energy is zero at positions one and three, so it is not always positive. Yeah, right, sorry. So the kinetic energy is always greater than or equal to zero. Thank you, Billy, that is all correct. Now let's look at the elastic potential energy of the frictionless horizontal mass spring system as a function of time. Bo, tell me what you see when you look at the elastic potential energy graph. Sure. At positions 1 and 3, elastic potential energy has its maximum value. That makes sense because the equation for elastic potential energy is 1 half the spring constant times the displacement from equilibrium position squared. At positions 1 and 3, the maximum displacement from equilibrium position has its maximum magnitude, which is the amplitude, and therefore the elastic potential energy will be a maximum. At position 2, the, the elastic potential energy is 0, because the displacement from equilibrium position is 0, and the elastic potential energy is always greater than or equal to 0, because the displacement from equilibrium position is squared, and the spring constant is always positive. That is what I see. Thank you, Bo. Now let's add a horizontal line at the top, which represents the addition of the kinetic and elastic potential energies. In other words, it represents the total mechanical energy of the frictionless horizontal mass spring system as a function of time. Who can tell me what major concept in physics that horizontal line represents? A horizontal line means the total mechanical energy is constant as a function of time. That means the total mechanical energy of the system does not change. That is conservation of mechanical energy. That's right. The horizontal mass spring system has no force applied acting on it. Therefore, there is no work due to a force applied that is adding or removing energy from the system. And there is no work done by the force of friction dissipating energy as heat or sound. Therefore, the total mechanical energy of the system is conserved. I like it. Very nice. Typically, if there is no friction force acting on an object in simple harmonic motion, then the total mechanical energy of the system is conserved. The total mechanical energy of the system at any point in time equals the total mechanical energy of the system at any other point in time. Bobby, what is the equation for the maximum amount of kinetic energy in the mass spring system and where would that occur? Well, kinetic energy equals one half mass times velocity squared, so the maximum kinetic energy equation would have the maximum velocity instead of velocity and would occur at every position two where the velocity of the mass spring system has its maximum magnitude. Correct. Billy, what is the equation for the maximum amount of elastic potential energy in the mass spring system, and where does that occur? Elastic potential energy equals one half the spring constant times displacement from equilibrium position squared. So the maximum elastic potential energy would be where the mass is at its maximum displacement from rest position. Oh, oh, that is the amplitude. So maximum elastic potential energy equals one half the spring constant times the amplitude squared. And it occurs at both positions one and three because that is where the magnitude of the displacement of the mass equals the amplitude. Oh, and because the mechanical energy is conserved, 
we can set those two equations equal to one another. The maximum elastic potential energy equals the maximum kinetic energy. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. <laughs> I agree, it is awesome. Although I do want to discuss what happens when there is friction. Because the reality is that there is always at least a little bit of friction. So instead of watching a looped video of the mass spring system that imitates a frictionless mass spring system with an ideal spring, let's watch a full non-looped video and see what happens in the real world with a real non-ideal spring. Bo, please describe what is happening and how that changes our energy graph. Yeah. Um... Friction will slowly dissipate energy from the mass spring system in the form of heat. In other words, the spring will heat up due to internal friction caused by the changing shape of the spring. That means the amplitude will slowly decrease and the maximum velocity will slowly decrease. This means the maximum elastic potential energy and maximum kinetic energy will both slowly decrease. In other words, the total mechanical energy of the system will slowly decrease as friction does work on the system, converting elastic potential energy and kinetic energy to heat. That is great. The one thing I will add is that the total mechanical energy of the mass spring system plus the total energy removed from the system as heat via work done by the force of friction will always add up to the initial total mechanical energy of the system. This is because Energy can neither be created nor destroyed, it simply changes forms. You can see that on the graph because the total mechanical energy of the system plus the energy dissipated via the work done by the force of friction creates a horizontal line, indicating that the sum of those quantities remains constant. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.